want to go on a road trip? And you want to go on a quick little trip? Mm -hmm. No? Yeah? Yeah? No? Yeah? Maybe? Maybe? I know something that'll convince her. Look at her. There we go. See, you're not camera shy when I'm holding the leash in my hand, are you? Hey guys, how are we doing today? I, first of all, don't recommend vlogging and driving at the same time. I was up really late last night streaming some Sims 4, and I just can't seem to get going today. So I'm in need of a pretty good hookup with some coffee. And I've read about these couple of new coffees that Starbucks is offering. My friends have brought them up to me. I'm starting to see videos about them everywhere. So I was like, well, why not just do another review from my car like I did with my taco video? I am a little skeptical, I will say of the one with oat milk in it because I've had coffee with oat milk before at a coffee shop downtown and it was disgusting. I, I personally did not like it. I don't know if it was maybe the type of oat milk they use, but we're gonna try it. This is brown sugar in it, so it's like, yeah, they probably need that to make the oat milk taste better. No offense to people who drink oat milk. I've just not had a good experience with it. I did a video over Vlogmas on Starbucks and what's funny is that that was the last time I bought Starbucks. I typically try to support more local areas. I have a lot of places here in Austin that I love. The Cherrywood Coffee House, Summer Moon. I wasn't the biggest fan of Monkey Nest, which is where we went during the snowstorm, but I've been going to Civil Goat Coffee, which was the place we did find open during the snowpocalypse that we had. And ever since then, I've been going there more regularly. So that's becoming like a new place I really like. I like Merritt Coffee. There are really wonderful places here in Austin for coffee. Check out this line, oh my goodness. Everyone wants to be a trendsetter and get the specialty drinks today. You gotta face people, you know? Face, face your fears. There we go. Aw, oh, look at her. Isn't she cute? She's a little like a rag doll right now. She has a grooming appointment. That's coming up, but I did clip her eyebrows a little bit. She's a people person, can't you tell? Yeah, you're gonna get your puppuccino. It's spring break. Yesterday was St. Patrick's Day. I don't know about you, but I did nothing. I streamed and enjoyed that, playing my Sims game on my new gaming computer that I got like four months ago and hadn't played on yet. So that was really exciting and fun. It's not really been too much of a break this week for me. I've had a lot of work. Things in my life have been hectic. The next video I post, you'll know why. I'm gonna get real with you guys in the next video just a little bit. It's been a lot, so I thought today we just you know, get some coffee. I love coffee, I love chatting. I like these more vlog style videos. I don't know if you guys do, but drop a comment down below, let me know what you think. I did have one comment from a subscriber earlier this week that made my day. They saw one of my gaming chair videos and subscribe for the content because of that video. You never know what videos are gonna captivate people. Drop a comment down below, let me know. I'm curious to know if you subscribe because of a specific video I posted. Really? Hey, how you doing? Hi, I'm okay. How are you? I'm all right, thanks for asking. Good. What can I get for you? Um, I wanted to get the both of the new iced espressos, and can I get a puppuccino with that? This is a mood. Got the dead plants from the snowpocalypse behind me. I need coffee. I need coffee. I need coffee. Yes, I do. Can I pay for hers? The hers and mine. Thank you. What's your dog's name? Mia. Hi, Mia. They're so cute. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is she a schnauzer? Yeah, she is. Oh, I, <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but my stimulus did just drop, so it's like, why not just pay it forward? You know, do something nice for someone. I'm doing pretty okay financially. It's helpful, don't get me wrong. Like, I definitely have a lot of bills I need to pay, but I mean, $10, come on. Like, you can give $10 of free money to someone to help them out. Yeah, and I'm not sure she needed help. I'm just saying, like, just do something nice. Be nice to people, please. That's what we need in the world right now. Just small things like that can go a long way for someone. You never know how it can impact their day. Oh, yeah. She's loving this. Say, it's been a while since you've had one of these. Gotta let her have her moment first. She's going to town. Look at that eye. Oh, she has intention behind that eye. Okay, I think you I think you got it pretty clean, baby girl. Okay, so now it's daddy's turn. So this is the brown sugar oatmeal espresso. Look at that. Beautiful. Looks nice. You can maybe see the sugar on the rim at the top or not. I don't know why it's not focusing. It's better when you shake it up. You want the flavors to not be all at the bottom and the espresso at the bottom. So 
give it a nice twirl. Oops, I cheated a little bit. I think she's shaking up. Cheers. Okay. This reminds me of something else that I can't put my finger on. I want to say it reminds me of like a cinnamon dolce. There's definitely some cinnamon flavor in it. I haven't looked at the ingredients list for it, but that's kind of the sense I'm getting with it. It kind of just tastes like a fall drink. I'm not getting much brown sugar though. I put brown sugar in my oatmeal every time and I have oatmeal all the time. It's just not screaming oat milk to me, which is a good thing because I didn't have a good experience with oat milk previously. This is much better than the coffee I had with oat milk downtown. I don't remember the name of the place. And the nice thing is that this doesn't taste really sweet so you know if you're like a black coffee type of person but you want to mix it up a little bit I would say this is a pretty good thing to change to but it doesn't taste different from their other drinks to me I've heard other people go nuts over this drink or should I say oats over this drink <laughs> But uh, it's just not doing it for me. Yeah, it just kind of tastes bland. What's up with that? I'm a little disappointed, Starbucks. You're not convincing me that I should come back to you from all the other coffee places that I have been to. Now, let's try this beautiful thing. I think I'm gonna like this one better. It has almond milk, which is a little more palatable for me, and chocolate, and I love dark chocolate, so I'm hoping it has like a little bit of a darker flavor. You can tell it's all at the bottom, really nice color, pretty. You have a lot going on up here. So let's give this one a good shake. Watch this magicalness happen. We're going for it. I thought my whole car is shaking. I can only imagine if someone's sitting in their car. He's not looking, so he's probably already realized I'm crazy. I don't even know if you guys heard all that over the shaking. Yes. This has that cinnamon kind of flavor to it as well. Does this have brown sugar in it? Because I actually taste brown sugar in this more than I did the one that says brown sugar. There is a lot more depth and flavor of this one for sure. That chocolate, oh, it works so nicely in this. I, I really think that the flavor is more complex in this one. Honestly, it, it almost tastes like the oatmeal brown sugar, but with chocolate. Like I, I'm not tasting a difference in the milks too much, no, you can you can tell this is almond milk in it. Other than that though, it just tastes the same as the other one but with a little bit of a chocolate. But the thing I like about this one is that the chocolate's not overpowering, it's just like a hint. And you get it more in the aftertaste part of the drink, which is really lovely. I recommend this one over the oat milk and brown sugar, but totally if you're you're down for oat milk. And it wasn't the oat milk that did it for me, it was just the flavor didn't taste different. Like it tasted like a cinnamon dolce. That's the kind of vibes I'm getting from that. This just mm. Huh. I've enjoyed it a little bit more. You get that kind of like smoky flavor, which I've talked about before in their drinks. It's kind of like just a hint of it. And I do think it's because of the chocolate. I tried to take more sips of this too, just to gather my thoughts on my way here. And I got nothing else for you. Sorry, I, I just don't like this one as much. But I will say if you like black coffee, and you want to shake things up a little bit, I think this is the flavor profile that you're going for. Like it has kind of those same elements that give. Third time's the charm, right? So black coffee lovers, this, this is your winner. It has that flavor profile that you look for and why you like black coffee without it being black. So if you want to shake it up, that's for you. If you like a little more of a blonde roast or just in general, milk in your coffee, cream in your coffee, this would be a really good one for you. Not to say you wouldn't enjoy this one too, but this one definitely has more of that blonde coffee taste to it, which is why I think I don't like it. That's my take on these. I hope you all enjoyed going to Starbucks with me and let me know if you like this video. If you like videos like this where I rank things or compare things or if you want more videos videos on food and drinks and things like that. I'm trying to niche my channel down. So I really want to kind of have just a couple of things that I do. I've thought about doing travel and food. So I don't know if you guys are interested in that. Also, look at this shirt. Be happy, be bright, be you. But yeah, trying to figure out what I want to do with my channel moving forward. I, I, I definitely want to keep vlog type videos. I need a little bit of something from you to, to let me know which of my videos, if you've been with me for a while, you like watching more. But I hope you're all doing well. I really appreciate all of you and be happy, make others happy, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.